Stacy Dash, man. Stacy Dash did an interview where she said she's sorry to Black America. It was all type of snot bubbles. And yeah, everything. she was crying and she wouldn't come back home. She, Stacy Dash, want to come back home, Black folk. And I hope y'all know y'all locked that goddamn door. You locked the goddamn door. You leave her outside and let her cry. And the thing was with Stacy Dash is uh it's like I said, Bat, Bat Rent City, man, where you have these type of women. You know, I've seen white guys talk about this. Um uh, about some of the black girls that they have dated where they get a feeling that the black girls that they have dated is toning down their blackness for their acceptance. And this is what she was doing. And she talked about, yeah, I was trying, I was like being the angry conservative and yeah, I um, and I really didn't support Trump. I didn't really uh, support him, but I was angry and I was mad and I'm so sorry to black America and all of this type of stuff. And I always say this about these people when I see them, male or female. And I always say, like, listen, man, I don't know why y'all folk do this stuff that y'all do. Because y'all know black America. And y'all know when black America want to come down hard on somebody, bro, they come down hard. And when your ass walk through America and you see black people and black people ain't going to pay your ass any attention, they're going to act like your ass is dead to them. Now you want to get back and cry. Just like Kanye West, just like the girl Michelle A when she went and performed that Trump inauguration and her whole career is built off of black dollars. And R&B and black people left her ass sitting flat. And her career wasn't big enough for her to go and make that move. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know why y'all folks want to challenge black people. I have no clue. Like, when you decide that you're going to go to war with black people, boy, you better know that you got a home over there in white America. You better have a home over there. That's just like Candace Owen. All the cooning, all the mammyism that she be doing. She got it. She know I got to stay over here fully. It ain't no, these white folk going to dump me to the side, and then I'm going to come back over there and join black people. No, 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 no. Because she has said some things on you see white people like, eh, we don't agree with her. Yeah. But she come right back. Later on that night, all that week or that month, and it like she and, ain't and so you know, like with Stacy Dash, you would see her doing all of this stuff. Uh, last not and she was talking about Trump. I was like, nah, boo, you've been doing stuff like this the last six years. No, I had just thought about it. Like, it's been a minute. Like, I was like, yeah, I do remember her and her little uh, white husband had got into something, yeah, yeah, down in Florida, and I was like. Was that and then my matter of fact, that's the last time I heard anything about when, her. Yes, and then yes, and did pop up. And see, this dude who she was dating, he was an old Republican, mm-hmm. and she was over over there. She thought she was over there living good, doing everything. And now I got me and Zaddy. I can come out here and shit on black folk now. And so the dude dumped her ass and divorced. Her. Now she's on TV crying, talking about. I'm sorry, black people. She want to come home now. And I said, this is the same stuff that you see with black people all the time, man. That's that like I just said with Megan Merkel. These people, we want to distance themselves from black folk until white people give them their nigga card. Now they want to come back home. And I was like, dude, y'all know how black people are. They going to come down on your heart. <laughs> and you can tell, right? When you watch the interview and you see her face, you can tell that, no, nah, boy, black people been on her. She been on them. Yeah. Uh, tweet. She been on there searching herself on Twitter. And she been reading them comments. Black people that she come across in the streets have been shunning the hell out of her goddamn man. And you can see it in her face. Oh, no, I've been saying, like, some black people... 
you know, they are uh, in Grayshire and accept it back with open arms. But not all of them. Hell no, a lot of black people be like, damn, Stacey Dan. Not all of them. <laughs> and, like, this is probably, I mean, this is probably, I don't know what the hell I just said then. Like, she don't really do anything other than the past couple of years by coming out being very open, conservative, and people like, because you know that's a shocker for a lot of black people because we, I don't know why. Cause it ain't like it ain't never been a black conservative out. No, it see no, it's a bunch of see the problem is it's a bunch of black conservatives. We just don't have a lot of black Republicans, right? We don't have a lot of black Republicans. See, there's a lot of issues that I'm conservative on, but we don't have a lot of black Republicans. Black people ain't finna go line themselves over there. And it was a dude, uh, I forget what his name was, um, uh, put out a column this week. Talking about uh, Candace Owen And he was a black dude He was Republican And he was like Listen Candace Owen is not helpful To the Republican Party Pertaining to black people He said Those are the type of people She don't give a fuck That Huh No He's talking about the Republicans The Republican put her out Thinking that she's gonna get black people to vote for Vote for them That's why they hire her And he's telling them that No Candace only running black people away. Of course. Like her, Larry, Elder, all of them. Ain't nobody black listening to them fools and like, yeah, we going to vote vote for the Republican Party because Candace Owen is out here degrading us and shitting on us every single day. True. Because I think it is another, at least, maybe. I think, yeah, I think it was in Boston. It was a... Um I guess it was a woman she was running for mayor, black woman she was black running, woman. She running yeah. for mayor or something like that. And at least for her thing, because she was a Republican, I was like, she didn't talk bad yes, about. She did. Well, like I you said, you just didn't see it. Yeah, like I said, I didn't see it. Yeah, I, I don't. I, yeah. I just like I barely remember who it was. Mm-hmm. So like, but she tried to disguise it. That's why you didn't really see it. Like she, I know what you mean when you see it. She kind of like talk. No, I was talking, well, yeah, probably the same thing. Because it was like an ad that she was running. Mm-hmm. And I think it made it on, was it on World Star? It was on one yeah. goddamn World Star. Yeah, it was on World Star. And, yeah, like I said, like what we talked about the other day, there is a lot of racist terms out there. I know some of them can pertain to black, but I don't know how long because it's a new one that always crop up. So maybe she did throw some stuff out there that I didn't really yeah. pick up. Yeah. But, what? Well, at least with, she tried, and I give yeah. her. Yeah, I give her. I, but with Candace Owen, it's just out. No, it's Candace like, Owen has some other one. It's just out there blatantly, yeah, and it because like that's not like. See that let me, lady you talking about? She was running for office, so she's trying to get black vote in a predominantly black district. Candace Owens is not trying to get anybody black to listen to her. Candace Owens know exactly who her audience is. Her audience is white men. White, racist, conservative men. That who her audience is, and she knows it. Her, she ain't even attempting to get black people to uh, vote for the Republican Party. She's just over there cashing in over those white people. The problem is people like Charlie Kirk, Ben Shapiro, people over there in that world, they think that, no, Candace Owens going to help get us some black people. No, she's not, though. No, she's not. She's going to run black people as far away from the Republican Party as possible. And now you see Stacey Dash, she didn't got chewed up, spit out, and now she's trying to come back home. Uh-uh. But you know what'll happen. You know what'll happen. It'll be Tyler Perry or somebody like that will throw her in a movie. I guarantee, I guarantee you that that's what will happen. It was those Tyler Perry in there, and it's going to be some black dude. Because black dude loved them some Stacey Dad. That's why when 1990, late 90s, nigga loved them some Stacey Dad. That's why when Stacey Dad started cooning, black dude was like, oh, damn. Them yeah, niggas wanted to take back let, all of no, them no, masturbations no, no, no. that they had in high school. Yeah, put it I back. wish I could take them back. Black dude love them some black women. So when a black woman come out here and they start cooning and shit like that, I don't know what the fuck going on. The, it, it breaks their heart. So, because we've seen this. 
You can say Stacy Dash. I can also give you Doja Cat. There's a lot of black nah, niggas out nah, there nah, nah. that I was heartbroken. Nah, I disagree with on that Doja Cat. There was a lot of niggas that was heartbroken. See, no. See, but see, I with the Do- see, with the Doja Cat thing, that was different. Right? See, with Stacey Dad, Stacey Dad was just saying she supported Trump. Black dude was like, eh, okay. Eh, with that. But Doja Cat was in a, 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 in a room showing feet to racist white dudes and shitting on Sandra Bland and doing all the other stuff. Now, this shit was anti-black. A lot of stuff Stacey Dash was doing was just her trying to kiss Republican ass. Those cat shit was totally different. Black dudes going to look at that I, situation was totally different. I ain't saying one. I'm just saying. There was some black niggas out there that was hurt. I, I, I agree. Like, I know you probably wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't. I probably would tell you I know more about Stacey Dash and would have cared a little bit more about Stacey Dash than I ever cared about right. those guys. Yeah, me too. me too. But for the black niggas that's the like that. Get some, some that get niggas and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, some of the weirdos. They were sad. Yeah, they probably won't. They were they tearing up inside. Some but, never left, but I mean, yeah. But, and that's the thing. Like, just though, for me, with Stacey Dash, it was like, man, I, I don't know why these black people keep doing this. And like, don't y'all learn from the others? Don't you channel black people like this, bro? Cause black people gonna torture y'all asses, especially when like the girl Michelle A. You do like R and B music, yeah. You do like pop music. Most of your audience white, yeah. You probably think you can shit on black people and get away with it. But when you do like R and B music, don't you ever in your life think that you gonna shit on black people? They gonna cancel the hell out your goddamn man. Alright people, hit that like button, subscribe, 